Hi, this is Hussain from Informatica GCS team and I'm going to discuss about the delete rest API call in this video KB. The agenda for today is introduction to delete API, the different ways to call the delete API, which will be followed by a demonstration of calling the delete API on a record present in the ORS. Let us now know what the delete API is and how it impacts the record it is called on. We will pass the RuID object of the record along with the source name to uniquely identify that record. The delete API will then set that particular record to a deleted state. The record that is in consideration will not physically get deleted from the database, rather its, rub, its hub state indicator will be set to minus one. All the record whose hub state indicator is set to minus one will not be considered for any MDM related function. In this manner, the record is soft deleted rather than hard delete. The delete API can be called in two ways. One is by performing a SIF call from the SOAP UI and the other is the REST call. Now I am going to demonstrate how to call the delete API using REST to soft delete a record from the ORS. In this demonstration, we will be covering two use cases. One is when we call the delete API on the record that has only one XREF entry and the other is to use and the other is when the record has multiple XREF entries. Okay, for the first use case we will run the delete API on the row ID 1001 to see how it impacts that record. Here is the record in the BO and we can see that the row ID belongs from to the from the source system legacy and its hub state indicator is 1. Also let us have that uh, let us have a look at that record from the XREF. So here we can see that uh, for the row ID object 1001 there is only one XREF that is present which is here. Now we'll be running the uh, now we'll be running the delete call from the uh, postman UI. Here First, we'll have to uh, set the authorization to basic auth and give the username password, which is used for Hub Console. Also, this is the host name followed by the port. This is the database ID of the uh, ORS followed by the business entity, which is then followed by the ROID object of the record that we want to de de delete. This is the source system of that record. So now we'll go ahead and send, which will delete the record as such. To make sure whether that record, that record has been deleted, we can again come back here and check in the BO. And now as you can see, the hub set indicator has turned to minus one, which means that the delete API has run successfully and it has soft deleted this record. Let us now continue with the second use case for which we will be deleting a record in the BO which will have two XREF entries in the table. So here is that record. As we can see that the record in the BO has the last wired system as SFA and the hubset indicator as one. Also in the XREF you can see that that particular YD object has two records in the XREF. Likewise. One is from the row ID system legacy and one is from SFA and, bo and both of their hub state indicator is one. So what we will now do is delete the record in the XREF which is having the row ID object, uh, row ID system as SFA and we will see what happens. So coming back to this one, let us see whether it is an organization or a person. So this record is also an organization type. So the organization will remain the same, but like we discussed, we will be deleting the SFA record. Also, the row ID object is 1054. So now let us see what changes has been made in the database. Starting with the base object, 
we can now see that the offset indicator has become minus 1 and in the xref both the xrefs has become as offset indicator, indicator minus 1 so this is how the delete api will behave if we run the call on a record which has two xrefs that is the end of the video kb you can provide your feedback using the email id support videos at the rate informatica.com and also via our twitter handle infosupport thank you